Hey you guys, it's Irene from IreneLine.com and it's been a while since I've been down at the beach and shot a video, but this is my beautiful backyard. This is Kitsilano Beach, the mountains of the North Shore of Vancouver. Anyways, um, had a thought this morning. I have lots of thoughts in the morning all throughout the day, but I just launched a self-study starter program called the 21 day nervous system tune up. It's all about tuning up your nervous system, getting into your body in a safe, sane way. Um, it's not about meditation. It's not about trying to fix anything or cover up things. It's not stress management. It's really getting into the root of your mind, body, environment connection and learning about the biology of your stress. Because when you learn about the biology of your stress, you actually can start to curb it um, without having to do a lot. So that's the first thing I wanted to share. The second thing is that a lot of people, not just in this course, but in all of my work, my private clients, my longer courses, they really struggle. And this happened the other day with a client staying in their body while I talk to them, while we interact. And for some people, this is just common nature to feel their bodies and be present. Right, right now, I'm feeling my feet. I feel the wind on my back. I can feel my arm holding up this camera. So a lot of people can do that, no problem. But a lot of people can't. They struggle to stay in their body and present when they are engaged with another person. So even as I'm talking, maybe see if you can pay attention to your feet while I'm ranting away here. So there's a reason for this and it has to do with trauma and chronic stress and being dissociated from ourselves because at some point in our life we had to. Now I want to keep this video short because there's a big truck that's about to come by the beach here. But I'm going to sh do another video very soon that talks about why this happened. I'm going to talk about something called the ACE study and why it's very important for you to learn about it. But um, just know that it's possible to be embodied while being engaged with people. It's what we need for health and healing. I'm going to leave it at that. If you're watching this video anywhere else other than IreneLion.com, definitely go over there and check out my website, sign up for my updates, and we will we'll see you then. Anyway, there he is. Take care, everybody. Ciao. Hey there you guys, I wanted to shoot a little PS um, because that got cut short because of that loud uh, sand thing that was smoothing out the sand on our beach, which is I think kind of funny. But um, in all honesty, in all seriousness, being able to stay in your body space, being able to listen to it, feel it while engaging with the world is super duper important. We tend to reserve that for the yoga class, um, even running these days, people are listening to things and watching TVs and talking to friends, so they're, they're not in their bodies as much as I think they could be. Um, but we reserve embodiment practice for specific chunks of the day, right? And what would it be like to stay in that state of being 24-7? So. It's something to consider and the reason why I'm offering this suggestion to you is because when we can do that, we can pick up body cues a lot faster. We know when we're stressed, we know when we're hungry, we know when we're tired, as opposed to just plowing through the day and then at the end of the day going, okay, now I'm going to get in my body um, and feel myself. The key is how can we feel ourselves all the time and for those of us that haven't done this, that have had trauma and chronic stress and a lot of dissociation in our life, a lot of shutdown and high anxiety, we're not used to that. And um, as a culture, as a species, we really need to get used to this. We need to get back into ourselves, get back into what we call in the uh, somatic world, interoception. I'm gonna film another video on what interoception is, but um, just something to consider. And like I said, I'm gonna, follow this up with a few more videos. One on the ACE study, stands for Adverse Childhood Experiences Study. Um, one on introception, and then as we head into September, I'm gonna do some more dedicated videos towards the concept of neuroplasticity, what neuroplasticity is, why it's important. It will explain why so many of us start on paths of change and then we stop, why things don't stick. 
um, why things are so hard to change, why it's so hard to change habits, why habits form, all that great stuff. So um, this was a very long PS, but um, hopefully this is perking up some interest. If you want to, like I said, head to my site, irenelion.com. You can sign up for my free updates. There's a great guide there called How to, How to De-Stress in Seven Steps. Um, and you'll also find a self-study starter course there, which is low cost and it's a phenomenal way to start to learn about these concepts, get in your body, learn about your biology and start healing at a very, very deep level. Anyway, thank you very much for sticking around um, and uh, enjoy your day. Take care.